I threatened to make a video about this thing for a long time now. I really don't know much about it. I had it in my garage. It was either here when I moved in, or my dad had found it and given it to me and didn't know what it was or what to do with it either. I have absolutely no use for it. I did a little research on it. This is a Furuno. It's this multi-scale partition. It's a Furuno LP-1000. This is a Loran C uh, plotter. Now, Loran is short for long-range navigation. This has a CRT 7-inch green screen on it. There's a economy mode, which when you turn the, the knob down here all the way to the click, it shuts the CRT off, which has a plasticky thing in front of it, but it leaves less the rest of the electronics powered. And then it has all sorts of buttons here, rubber membrane, and it had like a stand, and it could mount with these rubbery things that are yellowed over the years. There's some more information on the side here. It's a Laurent C plotter, and it is made in Japan. Now the back of it, big heat sink. There's an antenna connection, a BNC, a ground lug here, you know, with a wing nut. That looks like a, a, a DE9 connector, I think for RS-232. And it almost looks like a PC joystick connector, but it's for something else. <laughs> it says output, and the one under my thumb, it says external nav. There you go. So, I don't know what any of that actually means. There's a fuse, there's a DC out, and a real weird looking DC in cable. And there's something under here also that says option. I can't seem to get the rubber plug out, but I'm sure, you know, I'd have nothing to connect to it anyway, so the heck with it. Meantime, we got to rig up some power for this thing. It's got a 3 amp fuse and uh, This will run anywhere between 11 and 40 volts DC so There's your connector a couple of alligator clip wires on there Hooked into a PC power supply that'll give us close enough to 12 volts We need on the yellow and black as you see right there so let me just set all this up and we'll power it on and see if it'll do anything. Okay, it's time for a smoke test. So we have power hooked up, ready to apply power. I'll put this at the kind of a mid control there. Fan in the power supply is running. We heard a beep beep. Oh! It has the fucking date! It kept perfect date and time. That is insane. I have powered this once before, but it was many years ago. Oh my goodness. Well, you know what? This is just cool just to have. Even if this is all it ever did. And never did anything more. It just looks awesome. Now let's play with this brightness control here. That's full brightness. You can turn it way down. Full brightness is even a little too bright. And you can put it... It's maybe a little dirty. You can turn it off like that. To economy mode, which even lights up. See, the Made in Japan stuff would actually have a light to come on and tell you that it's in economy mode even though you're using more electricity to run that light rather than <laughs> all the other stuff. And I think the keypad lights, if you hit the dim button, yeah, it lights up like orangey. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. So we'll leave it lit for what it's worth. I don't know if I actually set the date on this or it actually remembered from many moons ago or what. 
you got a nice reflection of me rather than what you actually should be seeing on the screen. So just try to concentrate on that. Now, <clears throat> let's try to power it off. I know it said you have to hit both power and offer to work. I think it actually made a little click. I hit power. Yep. There's your little plotter. But whatever battery is in this thing <laughs> is holding up. Now, this is still, I found their website, and this model isn't for sale any longer, but I think it said the original sale price of this was two grand. So I don't know anything about it. So we're just going to start hitting buttons here. Okay, the low tone, it said, means like it's an error. Oh, it took something. You can change minus to plus there. 50. Enter correct value. 10. Enter. 20. Enter. 30. 40? I have no idea. So we'll just keep hitting buttons. Oh, there's something. I hit Mon. And we got this now. Now, I guess that means signal error. Latitude, longitude. Um, again, I do not have an antenna for this. And... I don't know if it would buy me anything to even have one, but... I don't know if the latitude and longitude are correct. I would have to research that. Plot. And now you can actually plot stuff. But this is just kind of cool with all the stuff here. SFT, what does that do? Shift. Okay, yeah, it does stuff there. Oh, we can move the grid. Check that out. Chart. Center. Ooh, that was slow. <laughs> CTR, whatever that means. Oh yeah, you can move diagonally too. Check that out. Oh. Oh, we're going off the planet now. Oh, it doesn't like that kind. Oh no, it actually is letting me still go that way. I don't know what the R means that shows up. Menu. One, select waypoint for navigation. Two. Maybe. Enter. Yeah, you could program all kinds of stuff in. So, a race route. A race. Yes for enter. Complete. Now it doesn't say anything anymore. So I don't know what to do with this thing. Oh wow, there's all kinds of stuff. Wow. <laughs> oh, date and time settings. Oh, hopefully we can just go back. Yep. And interface port setting. Let's see what that says. Port 1. Setting for external nav. Lorenz C. Furuno CIF. I don't know what that means. Okay, it says in case of RS232C, optional IC LT1080 is required. 
Let's try one. Uh, no, I don't want to change nothing there because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I have no idea. So it's got all kinds of crazy stuff. And you go back to plot. And it'll move and still display the time and date. All kinds of interesting, cool stuff. So, you know, you can just keep hitting buttons on this all day until you figure out what you want to do with it, but I think it's kind of cool. Just, just for the green screen, really. Let's see what happens if you actually just pull power to it. Let's see if the CRT gives it, you know, screams or anything. No, it just sort of goes out. Plug it back in. <laughs> the bebop sound is kind of cool. I'm going to start that one more time. Uh, but I'm going to wait, of course, obviously, until it boots. Just in case it's programming EEPROMs and crazy shit like that that it shouldn't be doing. I don't have a good connection in the supply. There we go. Now we're in. Beat up. Now let's see what it looks like with the lights out. Ooh, fancy. Where's the... There's that. You can see what that looks like at night. Full brightness. When you dim it down, it does not dim this. You just turn it on or off. But really a very sharp display. One of the things I really love about it is it's using like, it almost looks like 40 column text that you would have on a on a PC, except in a smaller uh, scale because the screen is only a 7 inch but the inverted background and flashing text and shit like that is stuff that you just normally do not see in computers anymore flashing text like stuff like that is just awesome. In fact, these are flashing at different different times. Weird. I have no idea what to do with this thing. Uh, if anybody knows any more about it, then let me know. But other than that, it's just awesome just to have, you know, just like, actually right here is probably the, uh, well, not that one. I don't know how I got it before where it said the latitude and longitude. Let's power it again and maybe it'll reset to that. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if it like that. <laughs> power off, power on. Real quick. No, doesn't like it. The garbage characters are awesome. It pulls the date and time quick anyway. So once it boots, I wonder if that's like the rain button or something that makes it rain. I don't know. Yeah, even just to leave there, it's kind of cool. Like double high text and stuff. No, we can't make it rain now. Can't even make sunshine or anything else. Oh, like that. Are there more screens? No. Okay. Well, anyway, like I said, I have no idea what to do with this thing. 
So if anybody has any more information about it, be sure to leave that in the comments. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, and take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.